Hey guys, this is Shandra and I wanted to show you graphic stock. Um, this video is sponsored. I know shocking, but, um, when they reached out to me, I was like so excited because I love graphic stock. So what I use it for mainly is, um, making my planner stickers. And normally you just, you go on to graphic stock, which is, I was trying to set it up on my computer to screenshot. I don't know what's up with my computer. So what you do is you just type in anything because they have over 300,000 graphics, photos, vectors, and images. So pretty much anything that you want. will. So you have unlimited download library. So what that means is you can download as many as you want for your subscription price. So a lot of places only let you download, you know, five images or they charge you per image, like $30 per image. And that can add up a lot. So with this one, you get, um, unlimited downloads. Now, if you click on the link below, you can get a seven day free trial for graphic stock. With that, you can get, you can download 140 pieces of content. You can also sign up for the annual plan, which is $99 for unlimited access. So once you've downloaded to your computer, they're yours, but you have for that subscription price, you have for a year. All memberships come with 100% royalty free agreement. This means you cannot get sued by copyright holders for use and you can use the content in your commercial projects. So if you see a lot of those Etsy sellers, they you might see some um, images that are on graphic stock that, that they use to make their stickers. So what I did was I typed in silverware and I did not, I did not make it decide if it wanted a vector or if it wanted a picture or if it wanted illustrations or anything like that because I just want all the silverware that pops up okay and as you can see all these different images pop up and I decided that you know what this would be kind of cool for a dinner um, menu plan for your planner so it has the silverware and the plate so I picked that image and then I just saved it to my computer now normally I would use my Cricut and design a sticker so all I would do was would on this one what I did was I inserted a rectangle and I put this image on top of the rectangle and you can print it and cut it out but if you don't have a Cricut you can still make stickers and all you have to do is if you have like PowerPoint or Word you can insert a square insert this move it to the front and you have a sticker so what I have here is my sticker and I've sized it at an inch. So obviously after looking at this and printing it, I'm going to have to make it um, longer and bigger because I cannot write tiny writing and I wanted my menu um, for that day to be on the plate. So the same goes with the grocery cart. They had grocery carts in here. So I just, um, this is a vector and I put the vector over this little teardrop thing. And now when I need to go grocery shopping, I just put, I'm, um, peel off the sticker and put it on my planner and this way you don't have to have a Cricut or anything you, you do have to cut them out by hand and that's why I put them in these shapes because it's going to be so much easier to cut this out than it would be you know to try to cut around the shopping cart if you have a Cricut or a silhouette that's even better um, you can also size these for your punches so if you have a one inch circle punch just make this image a one inch circle and then you can just punch it out and I just printed it on sticker paper that I got off of eBay. So that's the first thing that you can do with those. Now the second thing I did was I decided well you know Valentine's Day is coming up so I typed in Valentine's and I really wish I could have got that screen capture thing to work. Um, it did but I couldn't figure out how to do my voice and then uh, it was just a mess. You know I am not computer literate. I can do my job and I can do the things that I need to do. So here you can see there's all these Valentine um, images, pictures, graphics. This one's a heart that says Valentine's Day. And then you have these options of, let me see if I can get closer here. You have these options to download it as EPS, PNG, or J. P, G. Some of them don't have all options. Some of them do. Some of them have more. I don't know what they mean. I just know a JPEG is a picture, right? I think. I don't know. So what I did was I just clicked whatever 
you know, one I wanted. I hit download and then it downloads. And then what it does is now I want to open it up. So I opened up the picture. Okay. And then what I did was I just, um, let's do the pictures open with, let's do a photo. So I'm going to open it with a photo. And then all I did was decide to print it. And I, I have, I'm hooked up to my um, printer wirelessly. So then I changed my paper size. And because I want this to fit on an A5 card, I changed it to a four by six. And it, you know, I printed it on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but I printed it, um, I made it four by six. So then what I did was I just cut it out and I attached it to cardstock and there's a Valentine's card. There are so many different uses. You can use these images on your websites if you have a, um, you know, a blog or something like that. So, I mean, I was just so excited when they reached out to me and who doesn't like a sponsored video because that just means more free stuff for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you can get a seven day free trial. Again, the link will be in the description box. And I, I just think there's so many graphics on here. And, and if, I wish um, I could get my Cricut. Like for some reason, the Cricut design space keeps on crashing on me and it keeps on saying something about my flash and all that other stuff. But I had um, these downloaded. Um, I think they were two inches wide and they were perfect for me to be able to um, write my meals on there and then cut them out. But this is also an option if you don't have a Cricut. I know a lot of people don't, but you have Microsoft Word or you have PowerPoint or anything like that. You can do that and then just cut these out and then you have you have your planner stickers. So you guys, thanks for watching. Go check out Graphic Stock. Thanks. Bye.